Welcome to a very interesting lock that I got from Wolfgang, who is a German lock picker and challenge lock maker. Yeah, Wolfgang, thank you very much for the interesting lock. You can see it's made by size icon. It's a half euro cylinder that had some pretty wild history on it. <laughs> and it's interesting that we've got a key, looks like this, which is labeled set eye icon. Yeah, Size Icon is the old name of the company that made locks and optical instrument <coughs> instruments since 1989. And then they split into the Size company that still makes optical instruments and into the Set Eye Icon company that makes locks and all kind of uh, other security um, items. Yeah, an old lock, Size Icon with a new key, Set Eye Icon. Works perfect. Just need to make sure that I don't pull out the plug because there is no back clip. So, what is special on this lock is a built in security feature. We can see two grooves left and right here that matches the key, matches to this uh, little bar here on the left and on the right. Hope you can see that. And when we use the key, works perfectly. But when we pick, we have to um, yeah, take care to do something in order to get a full rotation. So let's give it a try and pick this lock. It's a pretty wide open keyway, as you can see, so no problems accessing the pins. So I will use my Gozo hook, which I learned to love, because <laughs> the profile is pretty good. And for open keyways, the thickness is not, um, not a problem, so I will use that and use just a standard uh, pry bar made by Peterson to tension the lock. So, turn it counterclockwise and let's see. Okay, pin 5 is binding. I think I got it. Okay, one is binding. Got it. Yeah, over set five. Oh no. Let's see if I release tension. If five, yeah, five comes back. And now we've got a little false set. Let's see. We can find the spools. Okay. Here is one. I think that's three. Got it. Slipped into place nicely. That's four. Also given counter rotation. And I'm not sure if I overset it or didn't set it deep enough or if another pin came back. I think I overset it so I released tension a little bit. And got the full set back. Okay, need to pick three again and got it open. All right, so now I turn it, turn it, turn it, no problem. But now it stops. I can turn it back, no problem, but here it stops. It won't turn any further. And what I have to do is to manipulate something that's here hidden in the slot. And you can see that there is actually a profile on this little bar. So when we slide it in the key, the part that is uh, more uh, to, to you, to you um, has a cutout. And then there is a long piece uh, which is not, um, not interrupted, so to speak. So when I probe with a thin pick, I can feel something here which when I manipulate doesn't have any effect. So I think that's the cutout on the key. So this does not have any effect, but I can, I can feel the plug moving back and forth when I work on this, on this part here. And now I slide it in and there's another something and I just uh, touched it and now I think I can continue turning the plug. Now the plug is stuck because the driver pins 
protrude into the keyway. I help with a. This turns out to be more difficult. No, it's okay, it's free again. Um, here it's the same thing when I turn it like so and try to turn it back, it stops. So it's only blocking from, uh, from the neutral position to this point, no matter if you turn it left or right. So we have achieved a full uh, turn, full revolution. Now I'm curious to see what's inside. Now let's take it apart. All right, standard key pins. The first one is maybe made from steel. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> Attracted by a magnet, so that's a anti-drill measure. But now let's have a look at the plug. Here are these extra pins, or oh, there's one extra pin. Aha! Uh -huh. So when we slide this in, so when we slide in the key, we can see this little pin here comes out and would block the rotation of the plug if there is no groove, if there was no groove like this, so this is the right key with a groove, with a cutout on the right place, so another key that has this cutout knot would uh, cause this pin from sticking out and the core would not turn. And there's something else, and I think that's the... Oh no, there's no... there's another one. Ah, okay. Hmm. I was thinking that this actually causes the plug to stop and we have to push this down. Let's see how the inside of the housing looks like. Maybe you will understand better how this works. Look at this, another interesting part here in this lock. That's a spring with a little barbarian. I believe this is an anti-bump measure. Same thing here on the last spring. We have springs 4 and 5 uh, equipped with these uh, metal balls. I think these make the springs uh, different in their elasticity so that when you try to bump the pins have a different timing and will not clear the shear line at the same time. Um, and here is the inside. We can see two cutouts, two grooves. Um, I think these belong to the two pins here. So when I push in this plug, I'm able to turn it. No matter if the key is, is inserted or not. So how does this work that it stops when we have the, uh, the Bible and the key pins inside? So what I felt was this little pin here, this is for key control. I think this has nothing to do with this stop feature. What I felt a little bit deeper inside ah, was this pin here. Definitely was this pin here. Ah, okay, I see. So when there is the last pin stack, this pin stack, um, Inside the housing, um, the driver pin would jump into this cutout here and would be stopped. But only if you make the room 
um, if you fill this this cutout here with a little pin that goes out when you stick in the key then the driver pin goes down in the Bible again and you can uh, turn the plug. So let's try this. I will reassemble the last pin stick. So it's locked up again. Um, works with a key. Now we have to pick it to test if the theory is correct. Picking should not be a problem because we only need to set the last pin. All right, it's picked. So turn it, turn it, turn it, and it stops. It stops because the the, the driver pin put roots into this little cutout here, and we have to fill the space and push down the driver pin by depressing this pin here and. Uh, yeah, I just had it, and so we can turn the plug a hundred um, three hundred sixty degree. Cool little lock, pretty nice features there. Yeah, Wolfgang, thank you very much for this uh, very interesting lock, and everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking, and bye bye.